And moving on to our random topic. Yeah, what's our random so, topic gonna be? Uh, random topics are here. Drum roll! <laughs> um, we're gonna pick from here every yeah. week. Um, life after COVID. Oh my God, how current. Yeah. So, let's discuss. Um, like, I can tell you what I want after COVID. Um, can I talk about, like, before we go into after COVID, can we talk about, like, some positive things that COVID did bring? Like, I don't during? think COVID was positive at all, but okay. There's some positives. I have one takeaway, and that's people staying six feet away from me. That's I it? I don't like strangers within six feet and I appreciate that new rule. I think you have like and an the stickers to not and the stickers on the floor. I think you just I have an excuse not to hug people these days. Before what? it was like, oh she's just stank and standoffish. Oh so now I'm stank? <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe but, not stank, but um I feel like hey I don't need I don't need a hug. So yeah. I don't I'm I not a hugger don't either. need a hug from strangers. So yeah. But you know I've been working on my hugs. You I have. I don't know why she brought that up. Sorry. I mean, it's true. I feel like I mean, but it's been that... a whole year of pandemic. We hadn't hugged in over a year. Oh, that's like... true. I, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not a big hugger either. So how you gonna bring it up and bring me in? It was just fun. Because you get rattled. So I know how to, like, rattle. Um. All right. So really, the six feet's the only good thing. Well, I have a couple of things. So one, I think that it has allowed me to work from home, which has been my dream for maybe the last 10 years. I hate working from home. I love it. She doesn't like the whole like work. That's my office. Yeah, you guys can't see it, but like literally like That's her office bedroom. is in her dining bedroom. slash living room. There's I, no separation of life. I'm okay with it. Like I work from my dining room, but I easily go to my couch to veg and watch countless hours of TV, right? So I'm okay with it. I love it. People always said, like, you'll be lonely. You'll crave human interaction. I'm like, I'm nine, ten months in, and I still don't crave any of that. Like, that's why I have friends. It's because you see us, yeah. Yeah, but, like, I just... Like, so, also, it's, like, it's that. Working from home, it takes the commute out. So, like, we live in the DMV area, and at minimum, right, 30-minute commute to work, and then 30-minute back, right? That's an hour. And that's a good commute 30 right. minutes in the DMV yeah, that's area. Right. And I don't get on the highway. And that's not even counting like, okay, I got to shower. I got to get dressed. I got to like make my breakfast, pack my lunch, all that stuff, right? Like that's at least 30 minutes if you're really good. But I don't know anybody can do all that in 30. So we're saying an hour. So like two hours out of your day is given back to you to like wake up a little bit later or wake that's up true. at the same time and like I watch the news, news like meditate before I got in. it's great like yeah. those are great things I think also like positives of COVID is it's allowed you to focus on the like relationships that you already had and like grow them because those are the only people that you're seeing like you're not seeing new people that is a downfall right like I don't you're not meeting new people Cause you're no. weary of them. Like I'm weary of everybody. Like I know. it's weird to walk down the street. Like when I was like, used to run outside when it was warmer and it's like, you go the opposite, you go opposite way. Cause you don't want to be, I did, I did so, <laughs> come back. Um, you're just scared of people and right, that's weird. Right. I know that's true. Um, so yeah. So I think there's some positives to it, but I agree. Like, yeah. Life after COVID. What are you looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to the freedom of going out somewhere random, mm -hmm. some random event that's going on. Like we used to do this museum event once a month, like during the winter, or fall, winter. With time. hundreds of people all that kinds we of didn't people. know. It was great. You know, it was all kinds of random things happening. Jazz in the garden. Jazz in the garden, which we kind of still do. But. Yeah. That was summertime because we was outside. You know, it was okay to be outside. Social distancing. Um, happy hours. Yeah. Uh, meeting new people. With people. Yeah, meeting strangers. Yeah, even though I don't need to hug the strangers, but I like meeting new strangers. Yeah, talking. Um, Jenner and Blanc. Yeah, if you guys don't know what Jenner and Blanc is, just Google it. It's a great event once you're, like, settled. But, like, I actually would, like, really bitch about it the entire process. 
Because it's kind of like a scam. Like, you pay a hundred plus this dollars. Is, this is from Dinner and Block, actually. Yeah. The rocks and the yard. Like my, you, ta my table display. They literally make you do everything. They give you a location and they give you entertainment. So you get like a DJ or a live band. But pretty much that's it. You have to bring your... T by bring, I mean cart. Because you can't just like drive there. Like, you meet at a location and then you have to walk or catch the metro, which is DC's like public transportation um to the to the event so but it was still fun don't act like you weren't ready to be on the first top of the list this year i definitely was and i was really sad that it didn't happen and i have like a white also like last year i had so, yeah, like a white like dress Nova, but and an off-white dress it was still a lot of fun it was super yeah but like those are things that i'm just like i wonder when still we'll pay for it if they have it this year or next year yeah so, definitely will i don't think i think 2021 is going to be a wash 2022 Probably. i think will I think we'll get back to life in like 2022. Concerts, yeah. Festivals, yeah. Wine, wine. yeah. None of that. Like even like wine yeah. tasting. Like we try to do like wine tastings and it just wasn't. They don't yeah. do them. They give this it to you in like these little to go serving. Tasting. Yeah. I want you to talk you to, to be me about it. Some, some like, you did really well though. I know I did. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Um, the ones that participated with me, y'all know. Yeah, it was great. It was, but we had to read our own um, descriptions of wine. Yeah, I would rather them tell me because right. that's what they're getting paid for. And then for. you can actually ask them questions. You couldn't ask me the questions. No, so although I, I hate when know. people, like, go and ask, like, and so what about this? And what about this? And I'm like, yo, you see there's a line of people trying to get wine. Like, chop, chop. Take your tastings. But that's only when you're in the line, not when you're sitting there. That's true. I have so many questions when I'm there. <laughs> I am that person. I am my worst pet, pet peeve. Is that... Yeah, yeah oh, like the things that annoy me are the things that I actually do. So that's one of them. Yeah, not the. I think I talked to you about my pet peeve of like coming out of the shower. We did talk and about like, that. but that ain't got nothing to do with COVID. It has stay on, nothing. Stay on, stay, stay on track. Um, all right. So life after. Oh, I after COVID will love to travel. Like I'm a oh, passport yeah. whore. So like, oh, it's aggressive. It is aggressive. Okay, I like to pack. I mean, I like to get my thing. I'm not gonna take it. I like to get my passport stamped. So yeah, that's what I like to do. And I got nothing stamped in 2020. Um, and I probably won't get anything stamped in 2021. So, and my passport expires in 2023. Oh shit! I need to check mine. You should, because it's probably gonna take a while. State Department's probably oh, slow. You gotta get on that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have like a couple years, but still. Like, and you can't do it too early. Right. No, you can't. You can't. You have to like time it just right. So, but I, I'm looking forward to traveling. I'm looking yeah. forward. I do hope that they keep the mask thing something that you have to do on planes because that's true. Because people gross and nine times out of ten they always get and they sick. Still gross. Yeah, like most people get sick when they're riding a plane, and that's because it's just like the so only time in my life I had strep throat was, was from a trip to Miami. Yeah. I mean, people are nasty. Yeah. I actually, so like things that I do want to keep. But they circulate post, now, though. That's what they say. Though. But they're saying that they put something in it now, right? Like it's, they're like taking out all the bad air. I don't know how that works. I know. That's how did they say. come up with this? Like it's the same fucking and why, thing. And why weren't they doing that before? Right. But like why weren't restaurants having hand sanitizer readily available? Or stores when you go in, I'm like, like obviously we're like, you know, okay, touching so that our are, doors. Those are the good things about covid the stuff that they probably should have been doing about cleanliness they do now. So hopefully that continues. Yeah, people like actually washing their hands. I'm like, why is this a new concept? Right, that's true. People used to walk in the bathroom just walk out. No. Oh, awkward. There was something, like a, something I was watching and it was like, well, what do you do when like you're in the bathroom with somebody and you don't know them? But then you walk out and they didn't wash their hands and then they're like your waiter. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you do? I would say something. You would. What would Are you, you say? kidding me? What would you you say? ain't wash your hands. You would say it yes. that directly. Yes. If they were in the bathroom, I caught eye contact with them. I would say you didn't wash your hands. I'm not as bold as you. I mean, I would look at like I don't know what I would do, but I just I don't know. That's why I like having dinner with you because you're. A I mean, bit more I might not have said it if we never caught eyes. If we never caught eyes, I probably would call the manager over and be like, "Yo, yo, employee." I think I would do the manager thing. I'm, I'm, but I'm a Karen I, in that situation. If I saw them and they saw me and they walked to my table and looked me in the eyes, you ain't wash your hands. Like you guys both know. Yeah, we we know this. Yeah. Did you go back and wash your hands? Probably not. 
And it says... I would definitely say it's something. Yeah. But I feel like the sign that says, like, employees must wash their hands for at least... Like, it it's should very be everybody. clear. No, but everybody should That's wash true. their hands. It shouldn't just be an employee thing. That's true. That's like, true. yo, if you went to the bathroom, wash your hands. That's true. Stop being so dirty. Right, because you know you touch something you ain't supposed to touch. No, it's gross. With the everybody want to touch. Which is why, like, in some restaurants, I love the little foot thing on the door where you can, like, use your foot yeah. and open. But why everybody don't have that? Like, know. why is that not a default either? Yeah. Or having, like, a paper, like, having the trash like, basket right beside Right, the because it's like, who does, like, people are so nasty. I mean, obviously, it's gotten better since COVID. That is a ad. That is a positive that I hope we can take. See, there's positives to COVID. That's true. There's a lot of deaths, which I is sad. That. But... I don't know. I, I've OD'd on vitamins during COVID. I, oh my God, knock on wood. Like, this is the, during COVID, this is the least sick I've ever been in my life. That's true. But no, you educated me and you said vitamin C. I've never, I've never been a vitamin girl. And I literally I take 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. And you told me, like, if it's too much, you just pee it out. That's you can't true. overdose on vitamin C. And when I know that, like, I have to go somewhere where I'm going to be around other people, I take 3,000 uh, milligrams. Or milligrams? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it, I think, I think it, like, protects me. But knock on wood, man. I've been, like, this is, I've not gotten sick. Right. So I'm very thankful. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, but I've been, I've been ODing too, so. Yeah. But I need to, like, take your multivitamin, okay. which includes other oh, stuff. Oh, yes, yes. The multivitamin probably yeah. helps, too. What else? After Life after COVID, what else are you looking forward to? New people? You want to travel? Life. Just life, life. Yeah. Free, free. Just, like, freedom. Just enjoying. Yeah. Not having to wear a mask. Do you think... Everywhere I go. Do you think that, like, this is going to, like... I don't know. Do you think we'll ever go back to, like, pre-COVID life? Or is there a way to go back to pre-COVID? It's, like... Something so major happened to be years, everybody in the world. Years from now, before we go back to exactly how I was before COVID. Yeah, and honestly, I don't think it'll ever be exactly the same. Yeah, because like because we're living. You got to think about work has changed. They're not going to require people to work in the office. I hope not. One hundred percent no more. They don't, don't have an excuse. I doubt it. Yeah, I they don't, don't have a reason. Um, I doubt that'll ever happen again. Yeah. Um, I don't. I think the distancing. They ain't gonna feel like taking them stickers up off the ground at them uh, retail places. Oh my God, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like oh my God, like do you remember when? And I'll be like that when it. I'm glad it stayed. Oh my God, so like we're living in history. Like this is gonna be in the history. We are books. definitely in history. Yeah. Yeah. Like everything, Co like 2020 was like really it was a it was a lot. It was COVID. It was Black Lives Matter. Like Black Lives Matter has been around for a bit, but I think it really. Was an awakening like for a lot of people. Black Lives Matter. But I wondered though, like, was all that it all like? I wonder if like, yeah, Black Lives Matter. If that movement would have been as big as it was, and more people exposed to it, had it not been COVID, because we weren't nobody could do anything. So all we were doing was watching the news. No, I think COVID helped. Yeah, I think COVID helped, and not just news, but social media, like. You were at, you had nothing else to do. Yeah. So you're watching all of this. Like, yeah. That needs to be, I feel like that needs to be a topic. Like, just, like, the awakening, I feel like, of America. Yeah. Like, America. Like, I feel like black America realized that we've always been, like, disenfranchised and shit's not still equal. <clears throat> but I know that's, like, a different topic. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, 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 I think that should be it. I'm gonna write that we can, in. We can write that one. I'm gonna in. write that one in the jar. You we guys can continue to give us stuff, but I like that one. I'll say it. Um, and maybe that could be a live one because I'd really like to hear like others, other people's thoughts on it. Okay. okay. Um. So, anything else like life after COVID? Nope. Yeah. So just freedom. Freedom to do whatever. I mean, I'm sorry, Michelle, to break it to you, but I don't think you're gonna get freedom until 2022. I'll have to accept that. Yeah. But I mean, it's gonna happen. It's yeah. just yeah. Yeah, I'll I like that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. My poor passport. I just want to stay COVID free and um, yeah, we'll see. Okay. Hopefully we can enjoy life fully um, in One day. another year. Yeah. One day. Um, All right. We need to wrap this up. Yeah. Look, I, and I, I'm definitely, I'm sure we are over our 30, 30 minute minutes. Ish. Uh, we are over we in the itch right now I'm yeah sure. 
This is um, also our second take, guys. Oh yeah. And our second martini. It is. I'm good. exhausted. We should finish. We should toast to the end of yeah, our show. Yeah, toast to like a good second taping of the show. <laughs> it was just as good as the first one. Yeah. Um, we thought we didn't need to practice, but God had other intentions. Thanks. Um, so yeah, so I think we did a great job. I was actually very nervous about this. You were. I was, and I don't know why, because I love oh, talking. Yeah. I love talking. I love talking to Michelle, but I think it was just like, oh my god, I have to like prepare all this stuff and. I was like, literally, it's literally just a conversation with my friend. Correct. So it's and been hope, good. Hope it works out. Yeah. Hope you all enjoy. Yeah. Even if we have like five subscribers, which I don't think we will because we have more than five people <laughs> right. that we know. We definitely have more than five Yeah. Friends. I was like, if anything, all of our subscribers will be our friends. So that, that's at least 100 people collectively. Toast. But yeah, toast. toast. I'm going to wrap it up. I'll continue to yes. talk. Cheers. Cheers to friends and our first. Uh, oh. All right, to cheers women. to everyone. Yeah, you guys Thank need to have a drink watching. next time. Thanks. Peace. Bye. Bye. Mm. I stopped it before we drank. Oh, man, Michelle. It's okay, though. Oh, you took it to the head. Oh, let me see how long that was. Let's hopefully. Literally, we, we were still talking. Oh.